Hi, welcome to another episode of the Pet Food Channel. Uh, we've got something quite interesting today. Well, it's in a pretty can, I should say. Today we've got the uh, Purina. It's Fancy Feast a la carte recipes. Um, sounds really nice. Chicken Florentine cuisine with a delicate sauce. Hmm. Interesting, eh? Nice little picture of a cat there. Now, Purina. Um... Is the brand, but if I have a look at the actual notes on the back here, it says somewhere there, uh, imported by Nestle Purina Pet Case. So Nestle and Purina are in fact the same. One home bush bay somewhere in Victoria, New South Wales, sorry. Um, Nestle is a division, or Nestle Purina Pet Care is a division of Nestle South Africa Proprietary Limited. Okay. Interesting, let's have a look. So it's uh, chicken Florentine cuisine with a delicate sauce, as it says. The ingredients say it's got meat and meat ingredients, including pork, chicken and turkey. Wheat, gluten, spinach, corn, starch, artificial natural flavours, vitamins and minerals and so on. 11% uh, protein. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, I suppose uh, we just need to get into it. So we'll crack this baby open. Uh, oh, immediately it looks like it's a, well, it does look like a Mornay sauce. Uh, this is chicken Florentine, but it looks like a creamy white sauce. My mouth is watering. The smell is sort of like cat food and uh, white sauce mixed with tomato sauce or ketchup. All right, well, let's oh, put that out onto the plate there. Oh, lots and lots of chickeny goodness in there. I'm not actually sure where this was made. It says it was imported by um, uh, Purina, which is Nestle. Um, but it doesn't give me too many more ingredients, any more information. Than that. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Very noisy there. It's a public holiday down here, so a few beers last night. Oh, and I should tell you, today's um, drink of choice is the Little Creatures Pale Ale. Uh, made in Western Australia. It's quite good. They also have a really nice bright ale. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes in a minute. All right. So, doesn't that look interesting? Hmm. Okay, so look, it looks quite interesting. I can see bits of greenery and some spices. Um, smell? I'll smell, I'll smell the can, so. Hmm. It smells like tuna, actually. Um, it smells like tuna and dog food. Hmm, interesting. So not overly interesting in the smell. All right. Now, interesting, the picture there looks nothing like that. This is like a bleached version. All right, let's get into the taste. I've got some on my fork here. Um, excuse me. I dropped it all over myself. Um, okay. Quite tasty. It's sweet. Um, I can taste sort of the bulk chewy protein. Um, so I don't know if this is real chicken as such. It's that sort of homogenized flaky stuff. You can sort of see it there. It's in layers, a bit like that fake seafood extender. Um, it does have texture though. Um, mm, okay. It tastes like bulk protein type fake meat in a slightly tangy, creamy um, sauce. Interesting. Um, it's not disgusting. It is a cat food, isn't it? Yep, there's a cat there. Um, ooh, it's got a pretty yucky aftertaste, actually. Quite a bitter aftertaste. When's it out of date? July 2018, so... Okay. Mm, that's not good at all. Let's have a swig of my beer. Uh, yep, much better. All right, let's have a look at the score sheet then. All right, look wise, it looks quite appetizing, doesn't it? Um, it's sort of creamy, it's got lots of spots in it, you know, it, it, for a pet owner, it certainly makes it look like it's nice, actually. I might just try that bit of um, green stuff there, see if that's actually real vegetables. Um, yeah. 
that's all right. So a pet owner looking at that would think, yum, you know, I'm doing doing very well for my cat in this case. It's a um, it's not a cheap product. Um, so look wise, I'm going to give that a uh, a four out of five. I think it deserves that. Smell, the smell is pretty average. Like I said, it smells like oh, lunch and tuna and dog food. Um, I'll give that a, a, a 2.5. Taste, eh, it wasn't bad. Uh, I'll go with three. Um, would I put it on toast and eat it? If I was really hungry, maybe. Didn't, couldn't afford real food, but um, I'm sure my cat will eat it. And actually, the dog's sitting down beside me, so he'll eat this and the rest of this in a minute. Texture. Um, it had plenty of texture there, even though it was that, um, that mass-produced protein type um, stuff that, you know, there was none of that real crunchy bone meal or anything in there, so it's not, it's not a bad. Um, I'm going to go with uh, 3.5 for that one. So what does that give us? That gives us um, 3.5, 6.5, 7.8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 out of 20. Now that's a pretty good score for the... Uh, Purina Fancy Feast. Chicken Florentine Cuisine with a Delicate Sauce. All right, until the next time, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Cheers.